book promoting vegetarianism by Gopinath Agarwal on page 15th and 16th, he says that the milk a cow gives in its lifetime can satisfy 90,000 persons at one time, but the same cow is killed for flesh can satisfy 1,000 persons at one time. The same applies for goat also. He says killing the goose that lays a golden egg daily is never a wise proposition. Do you agree with him? And sister raised an argument, which is there not only in this book, even other books on internet. You go to the internet, the same argument is given. First thing is, that is milk veg or non-veg is a big question. There are vegetarians who say that milk is non-veg. This book. I'm not blaming the speaker. This book, again, says milk is non-veg. If we have milk, so many diseases. Other vegetarian foundations say no, we are lacto-vegetarian, we have milk. Whether milk is non-veg or veg, my simple question is, if you don't want to hurt the animals, when you milk, when you milk the animal, it causes severe pain. You know, artificial milking of animal causes pain. You ask a breastfeeding woman, certain times she has problems, and she has to extract milk artificially, it is so painful. So when you extract milk from the animal, it's painful. When you don't agree that animals are meant for food, how can you milk the animals, the cattle and the cow? It is so painful. It is nothing but robbing the animal. If you say the animal is not meant for food, and if you have the milk of that animal, you are robbing the milk which is meant for the offspring, for the calves. And the example that was given, that a cow, on average, in a day gives 10 kgs of milk. Again, this book. If it's wrong, no problem. It's on the internet also. 10 kgs of milk in a day. In a month, 300 kgs. In a year, about 3,000 kgs. Do you calculate milk in kgs? In liters. Why in kgs? I don't know. Ask the author. And then further it says that 3,000 kgs of milk, it will feed 6,000 people. So in full lifetime, it will feed 90,000 people at one time. And the cow, if you kill, only 1,000 people. Which is better? 90,000 or 1,000? Why are you killing the goose that's laying the golden egg daily? It's not a wise proposition. And I agree with that. But the point to be noted is that no milkman will ever give a milking cow to the slaughterhouse. No slaughterhouse will ever purchase a milking cow because a milking cow is multiple times more expensive than a cow which has passed its age of milking. In Bombay, it costs 20 to 25,000 rupees milking cow. An old cow which has crossed the milking age costs only 3 to 5,000 rupees. So, what we do, we non vegetarians, the cattle, we look after it till the time it gives milk. After it starts giving milk, we slaughter it. We take all the eggs of the goose. When it stops laying, we slaughter the goose for its flesh. Saab bhi mare or lati bhi na tute. Two birds with one stone. We are more intelligent. Again, the argument giving. Let's see some animals. You can use them in field, etc. You can use them for plowing, for transportation. If you love the animals so much, why do you overload them? And furthermore, the Indian statistics tells us that out of the population of cows, oxes, and bull, only 25% are productive. The remaining 75% are unproductive, either past the age of milking or they are males, all done females, bulls, oxes. Now, what will you do with the 75% of excess non productive cow, goat, bull, ox? One option you rear them up yourself. An average bull or cow requires 18,000 a year for living, according to the statistics. Their statistics, not my statistics. 18,000 a year. So after they give milk, they live another four or five years. Which farmer will bear the burden of millions of cows every year, 18,000? Second option is give to give their organization. They leave it open, it enters the field, eats up the crop. Third option, leave them in the jungle, animal will kill them. The last option is best after they reach the age of milking, utilize the milk, give it to slaughterhouses, it benefits the farmer, he gets some money, and even the animal benefits the human being by eating the meat of the animal, as well as his hide for leather, as well as the bones. Hope that answers the question.